In this GIMP tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can use transparency and layers to put one object inside another object. So let's go ahead. I've got GIMP open. Let's go ahead. Oh, let me show you here. Uh, I want to give you the information on the version of GIMP I'm using. GIMP, the GIMP version I'm using is 2.10.18. And um, GIMP can import and use vector graphics, which is what we're going to be using for this tutorial. Links to all the images, clip art, and images that we're going to be using for this tutorial have links in the show notes so that you can use the exact same images and clip art that I'm using for this tutorial if you want to follow along that way. All right, so let's go ahead and open up our assets. So we're going to grab this cartoon astronaut here. We are going to grab this globe. We're going to grab this moon, this rocket, and this rocket. Our baby face that we're going to put inside our <laughs> we're going to put inside our astronaut helmet, and an image that I created for background, which is a cartoon uh, starscape. Okay, so I've got all these selected. I selected those uh, just by holding down my control key since they're not contiguous files here. So that I could select all of them at the same time. I'm select open. For the vector graphics, it's going to ask you what resolution you want to import these as because it's going to convert the, the vector graphic into a raster format that it can use. So I've got my resolution set at 100 pixels per inch. It's going to ask me for each one of these, the globe, the rocket, the moon, the flying rocket, the baby face. Okay, so now we've got everything loaded. Since this starscape, this cartoon starscape I created is going to be our background for this composition, I'm going to go ahead and save this as my project file. So I'm going to go save as and I'm going to put on here, since I've already created one, I'm going to put on here Tinker's Lab um, Astronauts 1920 by 1080 because it is a 1920 by 1080 image. And I'll put 001 on here. Tinker's Lab Astronaut 1920 by 1080 001. Okay, I'm saving that in our assets folder. All right, so we've got our file created. 19, it shows you up here, it's 1920 by 1080. So let's go ahead and start copying over the objects that we want to create our composition with. So I'm going to start here with the moon, since that's going to be the next layer in this composition. I'm going to go edit. I am going to go to copy, and then I'm going to go back to my background image here, my starscape, and I'm going to say edit. And I want to paste as a new layer, and then I'm going to come over here. I'm going to I'm going to rename it. I'm going to rename it Moon, so it's easy for me to recognize what it is. All right, so I'm going to go up here. I'm going to I'm going to scale this because I want it to be um, much much larger than it currently is. All right, so I'm I'm scaling this in both directions. Right? Okay, so now what I want to do is I want to flatten it out a little bit to make it look bigger than it actually is. So I'm going to go up here and I'm going to unchain the width and the height so that I can increase the width on it without increasing the height. So as you can see, it's making it much, much wider. I want to make it wider than my screen. Okay, so I'm going to scale that. And then I'm going to come over here to my move tool and I'm going to move this down so that you can see that our our moonscape is going to be larger. I want it to I want it to be larger than than um, the width of our image. And as a matter of fact, I want to I want to scale that a little bit more width wise. Yeah, I like that. Okay, so let's go ahead and scale that, and then we'll move it over a little bit more. Right there, I think looks good. All right, so we can go ahead and close out this image. 
and we don't want to take a chance on moving either one of the layers that we've just created. I've got it set up exactly the way I want it. So I'm going to highlight the starscape and I'm going to tell it I want to lock pixels, I want to lock the, the position and size, and I want to lock alpha channel so that I can't accidentally mess that layer up. And I'm going to go up to my moon layer, I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to protect the pixels the uh, position and size and the alpha channel okay or the trans transparency channel all right so we've got we've got the moon we've got the starscape so let's go ahead and grab our earth here as our next layer so let's go ahead and edit and copy and then go back up to our primary image here and then we're going to go to edit we're going to paste as a new layer and then I'm going to rename this Earth. I always like to rename my layers so I know exactly what I'm looking at. You know what I mean? Okay, so our, our uh, Earth is way down here at the bottom. So I'm going to grab it and I'm going to pull it up. I'm going to scale it as well. But I want to... Let me undo that. I want to rechain it so that it stays circular. I'm going to come up here and I'm going to make it smaller so it looks further away, you know? Okay, let's scale that. That looks good. Go to my move tool. I'm going to move it up here a little ways. I think that looks good. I don't want to accidentally um, change that layer either, so I'm going to lock everything in, in, uh, in place for, for my earth. All right, so next I think what I want to do is I want to take my, and we can go ahead and close that layer out, that image out. I want to take my flying rocket here, and I want to copy that. And then go back up to my primary image and we're going to go to edit and we're going to paste everything as a new layer here guys. Everything is going to be a new layer. I want to scale that one down so it looks further away. That looks about right. Go to my move tool. I want to move my rocket up here a little bit. I think that looks good. And then we're going to protect those layer, that layer as well. All right, so we close out our rocket. All right, now I want the rocket that's going to be sitting on my lunar surface, which is going to be this one. I'm going to edit. I'm going to copy. I'm going to paste it as a new layer again. And there's our rocket. Let's move it over here. Yeah, let's move it back over here. Okay, I want to scale it down a little bit. I want it. I want it to look further away than our astronaut. You know what I mean? So we want we want to make it smaller. Let's go ahead and scale that. Grab our move tool and put it right over here next to where this big, huge, open crater is. That's where our rocket's going to sit. All right, so now we're going to protect that layer. Well, let me rename it. I'm going to call it um, uh, Rocket Ricket. Rocket um, surface, so I know what that is. And then over here on this rocket, I'm going to put rocket flying. That way, I can differentiate between the two rockets. Okay, and then I'm going to lock everything on that layer. All right, so our composition is coming along just fine. We just got a couple more images to go. Okay, so now I am going to take my astronaut that I'm going to put on the surface that's going to be closer to the camera than the rocket that is setting on the surface. So I'm going to go edit, I'm going to go copy, I'm going to go up to my composition, I'm going to go edit, and I'm going to paste as a new layer again. And Wow, he's really big. All right, so let's move him down here a little bit, and then we're going to scale him in both directions so that you know his aspect ratio stays the same. And let's let's see what that looks like. So we're going to scale him, grab our move tool, move him up here. Yeah, I think that I think that looks good, right there. He's in front of the rocket. You can you can see all of our pieces of our composition in the background. Okay, so we've got him, and I'm going to call this astronaut. All right. Okay, so the last piece of the puzzle we need here, and we can go ahead and close out him. We need our baby face. Our baby face is what we're going to put inside of our 
our space helmet. He's just, our, our, our baby astronaut is on the lunar surface. So let's go to edit and go to copy. And we're going to go to edit and we're going to go to paste. Oops, I didn't want to do that. I went to edit paste as new layer again. Okay, there we go. And you notice I didn't lock down the layer on our astronaut because that that is the piece of the puzzle here that we're going to have to manipulate. All right, so we need to scale him so that he looks correct inside the spacesuit. So let's go up our scale tool again. I'm going to scale him in both directions. And that looks pretty close. So let's scale that and then move him up to the helmet and let's um let's rotate him just ever so slightly there I'm gonna rotate it so that his head's kind of tilted the same way as the space helmet maybe a little bit more like that yeah i think that looks better okay so he's still a little bit too big you know for our faceplate on our helmet so let's go back and select our scale tool again and then scale him down a little bit more scale that grab our move tool move him up as we want to be able to see his face in the space in the space suit okay and right now we've got him above that layer and the reason we're doing that is because it allows us to get it scaled and positioned properly okay so we've got that i think we're going to make him just a little bit smaller scale it yeah i think that looks good you won't, you know, part of his chin will be hidden, but you'll see his smile. You'll see his ears. You won't see this little piece of hair up on top of his head, but that's okay. We want him to feel as much of the faceplate as possible. Okay, so now that, and I'm going to put this as uh, baby face. I got my baby face here. Baby face. Okay. So now what we want to do is we want to put him below our astronaut layer so he's going to be completely hidden for the moment and then we're going to work our magic and and make it so that you can see him inside the face inside the helmet so uh inside the face plate so we're going to take this we're going to take out layer. we're going to drop him down below our um space suit and we don't want to accidentally move him or change him so i'm going to protect i'm going to lock everything down on that layer and now I'm going to go to my astronaut layer. And to make this a little bit easier, I am going to zoom in on this helmet. So let's grab our path tool. Let's grab our path tool. What we want to do is we want to select our faceplate here. So I'm just going around. And, and you'll, after you've used this tool a few times, a few times you'll you'll realize where it's best to make your points. Okay, so I'm, I'm finishing off in the, in the point that I started. I'm going to select that and then hit enter. And so everything is selected here. So if I go into one of these points and I hold my control key down so I can pull out my, pull out my um, curve tool here. You can see that I can I can manipulate this just by holding down my control key, left click, and I pull out the handles so that I can make it more of a, a curve to fit the faceplate. So that's what I'm doing. I'm just grabbing, holding down the control key, left clicking, and then dragging out my handles. And that way I can get this almost perfect. And I'm just going to do it quickly here. Just going to do it quickly. Grab the handles on this one to make it a curve. Pull the handle out until, you know, until it more conforms with the shape of the um, faceplate of the helmet. You know? There, I think that looks pretty good. So now what we're going to do is we're going to cut this selection. Let me hit enter so that it so that it grabs our new shape here. And then we're going to go to edit and we're going to go to cut. And oh, look at that. Now, now that we've made that area transparent, we can see his face. 
So now we're going to go to edit and we're going to go into paste as new layer. And now, you know, it, it pasted, it created a new layer above the astronaut layer. So right here, I'm going to put faceplate so I know what I'm looking at. All right, so I'm going to go up, I'm going to select none. And for my astronaut spacesuit, now that I've now that I've cut away the faceplate and put it on a layer above, um, I can go into my astronaut layer here, and I can protect everything there, which is what I'm going to do. Always protect your layer so you don't act like accidentally change things that you don't want to change. Okay, so I go up to my move tool to get rid of my select there. All right, so I've got my faceplate layer selected so now if I go up to opacity and I drop the opacity you can see and let's go about let's go about 50 percent here you can enter the number directly 50 percent okay so now we still have the blue of our face plate but it looks more like a face shield it's because it's it's half transparent it's got 50 percent transparency now well we just set it to 50 percent opaque or 50% transparent. You know, the terms are synonymous. Okay, so now let's go back and highlight our starscape. And let's zoom back out. And now we've got our baby face inside our astronaut helmet. And you still have the reflection from the helmet. You know, so we didn't just cut the face plate away to make a hole there. Because, you know, the, there's no atmosphere on the moon. you got to... You got to keep his faceplate on there, right? So, so we made the faceplate 50% transparent. It still has the blue shading like glass. It still has the reflection like glass. But now you can see the baby face astronaut inside the spacesuit faceplate on the helmet. I've got one piece of the puzzle that I'll show you that I'm going to leave up to you guys to to complete. Okay, so there there will be a link to a se second astronaut in the um, in the show notes of this video. So I'm going to go ahead. And I, I, I'm going to close out the image of the of the baby face. I'm going to save the work that I've just completed here. I think it looks really really good. So if you want to, you can always add a shadow to give more depth to your rocket to your astronaut on the surface. We we could do that right now. If go into um, filters, we go into light and shadow, and um, yes, I need to, I need to select my astronaut suit, and now I need to unprotect it, and we go into filters, we go into light and shadow, we go into drop shadow, if I uncheck preview, we can see how it's adding a shadow behind him. Now, um, because, because he's highlighted on the opposite side, we really need to make the shadow on the opposite side. So if we take our X and our Y here, and uh, let me put up my preview. You can see if you move your X and Y, you're moving, you're, you're moving the direction of the shadow. And so since the light is coming from his left, our right, we need to put the shadow to the left side of him, not the right side. Okay, so we got that. All right, so now we can lock down that layer again and then go to our surface rocket. And this is, this is why I name everything. We will unprotect that layer. We'll go to our rocket here and we will add uh, filter, light and shadow, drop shadow, and we'll do the same thing. We want the, we want the shadow to come from its left, uh, from its right, our left. There it is. All right, let's make it a little less opaque or a little more opaque so that we can see it better. It's a little bit harder to see it on that one. Okay, so now we've got that one shadowed. So I can go back and protect that layer. Okay, so now our composition is now complete. We've added a shadow to the astronaut. We We've added a shadow to the surface rocket and it gives everything a little bit more depth. So I, I think, you know, for a, for a cartoon composition, I think it, everything looks pretty good. All right, so um, one other thing I wanted to show you, let me go ahead and uh, 
bring up the other file that I've already completed. We'll go to, we'll open that up. And let's see here, um, maybe it was number seven. Okay, so this is my previous composition. And let me go to the uh, moon rocket window, rocket window. Okay, so I've got a rocket window. And I did the same thing with this rocket that we just did with the astronaut, but I used a different astronaut to put inside the rocket so that it looks as though he is observing the astronaut that is on the surface. So if I go and I and I lower the opacity on the rocket window, you will see, and if I put that down at about 40%, you will see that now there is an astronaut inside, <laughs> inside our rocket that is observing the astronaut that is on the surface. And I will leave that exercise up to you guys, okay, to, com to complete. But remember, links to everything, all the images that we used in this tutorial are in the show notes. You can download them and use them and, and complete this tutorial with all the same assets that I used. So that's a wrap on this episode. Thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next episode.